I know you're all waiting for X4 today. Yes, there will be X4. But please, let me get at least until 8 p.m. into this game. So this is about 40 minutes. And then we can uh, see if this will be anything interesting. Ooh, the ESA. European Space Agency. NASA, Soviet Union. <laughs> nice. China. Japan. Japan? Wait, there is... Wait, 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 wait. Japan has got... What's that called? Um... J, J, JSA? Something like that. Jap Japan has got a space program. JAXA. Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency. Aha. I go with the ESA. Let's go. I don't, I don't care about all the other stuff. We're European, so let's go European. Reggie, yes, you're also European. You're French. D deal with it. <laughs> Uh, enable tutorial. Yes, auto resolve. Whatever. Uh, let's do balance experience. Pioneer. Start game. Let's go. Welcome, Captain. Welcome to this early preview of Mars Horizon. In this limited demo, there should be welcome, Captain Collins. In this limited demo, you'll have access to the first era in the game, which takes you from launching your first satellite to sending the first human into orbit. The game will end once you've completed the human in space mission, or in January 1966. Good luck in the space era race. Ooh. Okay, how does that start? The solar system screen is your gateway to the various aspects involving in running your agency, such as accessing the research and base screens, selecting planets to discover available missions, and viewing recent and upcoming events. Okay. Your current tutorial objects are tracked here. Completing these tasks is a great way to get your agency up and running. Your first objective is a crucial first step for any new space agency, constructing and launching an experimental sounding rocket to test and improve your booster technology. Continue. Selecting a planetary body in the solar system screen will display a list of missions associated with that body. Highlight Earth, then press... I like that. Can you do something else? Left, right, WASD, doesn't work. Earth. Hello, welcome. Uh, the mission select screen displays all mission belonging to the selected planetary body. Details of the currently selected mission can be seen here, such as the length of the mission and the rewards on offer. There are two types of mission, milestones and requests. Milestone missions are important for advancing your space program and will be contested by other agencies. They will often require additional research. Request missions will become available as your agency completes milestone missions and can be a valuable way of boosting your Facebook support and finds. Uh, request missions don't require additional research, but each is only available for a limited time. Research Required to unlock the currently selected missions will be listed here. Note that all required research has already been completed for test launch. Okay, continue. All of the space agencies will be racing to complete milestone missions first. Doing so will result in increased support for your agency. Here you can track the progress of the five agencies in regards to the currently selected mission. Once you are ready, select plan mission to start planning the test launch mission. Okay, so what do we got? The mission plan includes each stage necessary to take a mission from the drawing board and up into space. Note that each mission plan takes up one mission slot. You can unlock additional slots by constructing mission control buildings. The test launcher has no payload, so you can get straight to designing the launch vehicle. Okay, that's a bit... yeah, whatever. On this screen, you'll be able to select previous vehicle designs or choose to start a new design. For the test launch, only sounding rockets can be selected. 
This is vehicle designer. Will you be able to design the vehicle for your mission? Thanks. The vehicle is made up of a booster and an upper stage. The booster must be able to carry the upper stage, whilst the upper stage must be able to carry the payload. Note that for a test launch, only the sounding rocket may be selected and there is no payload. Displayed here are the vehicle stats where you can check the booster has enough capa cap capacity to carry the upper stage and the vehicle can reach the minimum distance required by the mission. Uh, note that the launch pad requirement is not currently met. The sounding rocket requires a small launch pad. You can still design and build the vehicle without the required launch pad, but will need to build the launch pad in order to launch the vehicle. Launch reliability is a key stat that determines the chance of the vehicle launching without an error. Wow, 25%. As an experimental vehicle, the sounding rocket has a very low launch reliability. Ah, However, it will gain a large amount of launch reliability per launch, even if it blows up. The sounding rocket is a valid design for this mission, so, mm, so can now be confirmed. <clears throat> Once the vehicle has been constructed, you receive a construction report from your engineers. This will often include traits that may affect how you approach the next stage of the mission plan. If you have the necessary funds, you can start constructing a vehicle. This can take several months. Once the vehicle is completed, you'll be able to move on to the final stage of the mission plan and set a launch date. Launch reliability. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, that's it. The brick. Launch preparations. Build vehicle. Your engineers will begin construction immediately. Brick will be completed on March 1957. <laughs> okay. So, we got that. Now that the sounding rocket is constructing, it's time to build a launch pad capable of launching it. Makes sense. First step is to complete the appropriate small launch pad research. Our screens crucial to running your agency can be accessed here. When you're ready, select the research icon and to access the research screen. Got it. Oh my god, there's so much to read. <laughs> the research screen is where you can research new technology vital to progressing your space program. The screen is split into three research trees, missions, buildings and vehicles. This is the mission tree which contains the research necessary to unlock new missions and their respective payloads. Each tree is made up of nodes that represent certain technologies of air or areas of research. These nodes will often require the completion of other nodes before they can be researched. For example, the mission research artificial satellite must be completed before the payload research beneath can be started. Each research node requires a certain amount of science to complete. Science can be earned via, via missions and buildings. Note that you can select a node to view more details on that research. I can't. <laughs> anyway, each design tree is split into eras, which represent the technologi te technological age. Reaching a new era on any tree will unlock new planetary bodies in the solar system screen. Completing all the available research in a single era on a tree will grant a powerful reward. When you're ready, select the building tree in order to find the small launch pad. Yay. HQ and vehicle hangar. Okay, the building tree is key to expanding your base and the capabilities of your agency. To be able to launch your first mission, you'll need to research the small launch pad. Select the small launch pad node to view its details and press left mouse button to set it as the active research. I do not have money for it. Oh, it costs 50. Okay, well. Now? Oh, okay. The vehicle tree contains the technologies required to unlock bigger and better launch vehicles. As your agency develops increasingly advanced payloads, so too must your booster technology improve. For each mission, you will need a vehicle cap capable of carrying the payload to its destination. Vehicle research nodes are divided by their type. Most vehicles uses, use in missions will require a booster and upper stage research tier. Later on, you'll be able to research supplementary boosters to make your launch vehicle even more powerful. Can I research it now? 
upper stage booster. Are you sure you want to change your active research? Oh, you can just have one one research only. This will replace small launchpad with emerald. Emerald, whatever. Any progress made on small launchpad will be retained. Cancel. Oh. Okay, so that's it. Good. Here you can keep track of the resources vital to running your agency. Funds, science, and support. Support is primarily earned from completing missions. Earning support is key to reaching higher funding tiers, which will increase your monthly funds income. Funds is required to constructing vehicles, buildings, and many other key aspects of your space program. Science is earned from missions and certain buildings and is crucial to conducting research. The more research you collect, the faster you'll be able to unlock new technology. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the plus research points. Okay, got it. Uh, upcoming events related to your agency will be shown here, along with the number of months before they occur. Past events like me, hi, I'm the past event, <laughs> will appear here, including notable news related to other space agencies. Keep an eye on these events to see <laughs> what the other agencies are up to. <laughs> Pressing next month will advance time by one month. Next event will advance time until the next important event. Press either of these when you're ready to continue. Oh. So you... Oh, okay. So you have 12 rounds per, per year. And every single round is a month. Got it. Base. Okay, I'm just clicking things at the moment. Expanding your base is vital to increasing your agency's launch capabilities and much more besides. On this screen, you'll be able to construct new buildings that you've researched, move or demolish existing buildings and clear obstructions to create more space. You can use Q and E to rotate the screen and mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Thanks. It doesn't work at the moment. Available buildings can be found by selecting the building icon. Remember, you'll need to research a building before you can construct it. Ah, finally. Okay, cool. Graphics looks nice. I like it. It's very simple, but it's on the spot. Vehicle hangar. Allows the construction of launch vehicles. The nerve center of your space agency. Your journey of space exploration begins with the decisions made within this building. And we're on a island. Or where are we? Is that Swamp? Europe's spaceport. I like it. Can you rename it? No, you can't. Built. Here you'll be able to see all the buildings you've unlocked so far. Each building has a unique effect, many of which will be crucial to improving your agency. Buildings also have a build cost and upkeep. You'll need to be able to afford both in order to construct the building. You'll only be able to construct one of the most buildings, but some can have their building limit increase via further research. Okay, what is what is there? So we got mission buildings, research buildings, PR buildings, engineering buildings, utility, and training. Nice. Got it. Oh, okay. To move a building, select it with the cursor and choose a new value position. This will have a funds cost depending on the type of building and will include the cost of any obstructions that need to be removed. Buildings can be rotated with X and Z. I think it should be X and Y on a German keyboard. But anyway, changing the layout of your base can come in handy when trying to fit in a new building or to make the most of agency bonuses we're playing mars horizon this is a demo this is free available at the moment on steam uh, because of the autumn whatever thingy is going on on steam and it will hopefully come out anywhere this year and it's a base building rocket building kerbal space program like uh, game which does look a little bit like a mobile game <laughs> Okay, what is clear? 
To clear an obstruction, move your cursor to the obstruction and select it. Each obstruction will have its own clearing cost and certain types of obstruction, uh, such as rock formations, will typically cost more than others. What does that cost? Insufficient funds. 400k? Are you kidding me? I just uh, have 50k per month. Oof. Oh, this, that's because it's a rocket. Yeah, it's a rocket. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> it's a stone. <laughs> a rocket. Rocks! Not a rocket. Okay, that was that. Active missions. Okay, we just saw that already. Base diplomacy. On the diplomacy screen, you'll be able to see your relationship with each of the other space agencies. Depending on your... Reputation. Ah. Oh. With an agency, your relationship can range from allied to antagonistic. Reputation can be earned and lost through joint missions and certain events. Each type of relationship, apart from whatever that is, neutral, ah, neutral, grants bonuses to your agency. Friendly and allied relationships boost science income and increase the other agencies she's joint mission contributions man there's a lot to read okay agency competing and antagonistic relationships boost funds income and reduce the other agencies joint mission contributions they boost income interesting diplomatic relations neutral agencies competing additional funds income interesting So, what can we do here? No effects. I can't do anything specifically in here. Okay, good. Uh, recent events. Nothing. What's that? Small launch pad. Okay, let's go. Next month. Small launch, launch pad research complete. I thought it's wor it were two months. Anyway, launch pads are an essential service structure for launch vehicles, allowing maintenance work and providing data about the vehicle ahead of launch. What do you want? Once a new building has been unlocked via research, it can be constructed in your base. To start construction of the small launch pad, you'll need to visit the base screen. Oh, I was there already. <laughs> As you've now researched the small launch pad, you'll be able to construct it in your base, as long as you have the required funds. So, we know how that works, right? To construct the small launch pad, select it from the list here, and then select build. If you can't afford it, wait a month or two until you can. <laughs> Thank you for that advice. Okay, small launch pad. Built. But where? A new building can be placed wherever there is sufficient space. Building on top of removable obstructions is possible as long as you can afford the additional cost of removing the obstruction. You can rotate the building using X and Z. Each building has potential positive and negative ag agency effects determined by the buildings it's placed next to. Try placing this one alongside different buildings to compare effects. Huh. Plan your base layout carefully to get the most out of positive ag ag agency how do you spell that? Effects. But remember, you can always move your buildings later. Okay, this is minus. <laughs> that makes sense, right? That makes perfect sense to put it in here. And uh, now we can rotate it. Wait. Rotate it. How do you want to rotate it? Like this? No, like that. Yeah, that's good. Build it! Your small launch pad is now constructing. Once it's, once it's completed, you'll be able to launch your first rocket. Launch. How long does that take? Uh, one month. Okay. Good. Now that the previous research is complete, you'll need to select a new one. Uh, a good early choice is the artificial satellite mission, which will allow your agency to start working towards putting its first payload into orbit. A major milestone in space exploration. 
Uh, what do you want? Oh, artificial satellite. There you go. An essential first step in any space program. The first agency to launch a satellite into a stable orbit around Earth will take a prominent early lead in the space race. Yeah, we're better than the Russians. At least in the game. <laughs> Brick complete next month. Yes. Okay, research a small launch pad. We got that crossed out next month. Small launch pad is complete. Launch pads are an essential service structure for launch vehicles, allowing maintenance work and providing data about the vehicle ahead of launch. Announce the launch of small vehicles. Thank you so much. Ooh. It looks small. It's so small. Like, look at that. There is... This is this is a, a, a fence where people normally walk. And what is this? Three meters? Okay, test launch. Vehicle complete. Our engineers have reported that launch vehicle construction completed without any notable issues. Launch reliability 25%. Let's do this. The final stage in the mission plan involves assigning crew, deciding on a training program and setting the launch date. We do not have crew. This is an uncrewed mission. Oh, God. Thank you. No crew need to be assigned. Training is also locked for now until the appropriate buildings are constructed in your base. Yeah, makes sense. All that remains is to set the all important launch date for the mission. Select the launch date button to get started. Wow, there's a lot. A lot of screens. On the calendar screen, you'll be able to set a launch date for your mission. Each month represents a launch window. There are three types of launch windows. Optimal, suboptimal, and invalid. Optimal windows are ideal launch dates. Suboptimal windows carry a launch reliability penalty, but can be worth risking in order to launch your mission earlier. You cannot launch on an invalid window. For milestone missions, you can view the progress of the other agencies for the current mission here. You'll also be able to see their scheduled launches in the calendar. Be sure to schedule your launch before those of other agencies if you want to beat them to the milestone. So we take a current date. Every single one here is optimal. So April, May, June, July, everything is optimal. Let's take... What is that? Upgrade and construction. Training profile. Launch window. Okay, select. April. With the launch that's set, the final step is to confirm this stage. Ooh. The mission operation team will begin preparations for the launch. The test launch mission will launch on April 1957. Interesting. With the launch that's set for your test launch, now all that remains is to advance time until the launch month. Uh, we have also research running, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. Ooh! Test launch. Optimal date, no training set, launch preparations 25%. <laughs> launch mission. Let's cross fingers. Launch day of brick. <laughs> brick, make me proud. Bad conditions, minus 8%. Oh, God. I mean, we don't care, right? Continue. <laughs>
secure launch. <laughs> that was a 21%. What? 21% failure. No, it was even worse. It was 17% success chance. <laughs> okay. Nice. What is that? Launch success. 17% chance. And we did it. First try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Continue. Woo. My son achieved test launch. Streamer luck. Yep. Okay. Cool. Congratulations on completing your first tutorial objective. Your test launch was a resounding success. I think that was... That was jinxed. You, you just should feel good. That's all you should do. Your chest launch was a resounding success, granting your agency valuable support and science. The next tutorial objective involves achieving a crucial milestone for your space agency, placing your first artificial satellite into orbit. Such a noteworthy mission is bound to grant valuable science, as well as support from a wrapped public. Wrapped public? What is that? The first step in uh, this new endeavor is to complete the required research, the artificial satellite mission, and its mission payload. Visit the research uh, screen to start the necessary research. Oh, and we need the payload. Wait, so let's advance. Artificial satellite research complete. An essential first step in any space program. The first agency to launch a satellite into a stable orbit around Earth will take a prominent early lead in the space race. Ooh, we unlocked the moon! Yes! There is finally a moon on Earth. For Earth. Around Earth? What do you say? As rocket technology advances, so does the prospect of exploring beyond the confines of our planet. Yet, the public continue to question whether the fledging agencies can overcome the dangers of space flight. What's that? New Spacepedia article, Dawn of Spaceflight. I like that. By reaching the first area, you've unlocked the moon. The moon can now be selected in solar system screen, where a list of missions to the moon will be shown. Reaching future areas will unlock more planets in the solar system. You can navigate quickly between planet bodies using Q and E. Oh, look at you! Moon! Nice! Lunar orbit. Huh. Milestone missions have two research requirements, the mission profile and mission payload. Once these have been completed, you can begin planning the mission. Recommended research may also be listed here. There are vehicle parts that may prove useful when designing the launch vehicle for the mission. Note that this research is not required to start the mission plan. Uh, we got that and we need both of these, right? The booster and the upper stage. I think so. Research mission payload. Build mission payload. And we can't really build it right here. There is nothing else. Yeah, all buildings. Okay, let's go. Next event. Emerald research complete. A small early liquid fuel rocket based on earlier sounding rocket designs. Nice. And the upper stage. Okay, a small solid fuel upper stage cap capable of lifting only basic satellites into low earth orbit. Yeah, we got it. Uh, what else do we need? Rocket test bat. Spacecraft assembly facility. Spacecraft assembly facility provides a clean room environment to aid the development of complex mission payloads. Unlocks mission training payload reliability. Launch reliability. Payload. Oh yeah, of course we need a payload first, right? Research mission payload. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Oh, yeah, okay. A small cylindrical satellite carrying basic X-ray and cosmic ray detectors. Got it. 
Now that the artificial satellite mission and payload are researched, you can start the mission plan. Select Earth to find the mission, but note that you'll need a free mission slot in order to start a new mission plan. You have some Spacepedia. Ooh, look at that. Is that an Ariana? Oh yeah, oh, there. <laughs> there is the name on it. That's an Ariana rocket. Interesting. Era. Dawn of Spaceflight. Oh wow, look at that. If you want to read it, you have to read it yourself. What is that? Rocket fuel. Ooh. Rocket stages. Wow, there's a lot to there's a lot to read here. Test launch. What's that? Is that that's based on the V2, right? Yeah. Okay, this is just in-game. Diamond. Sounding rockets. This is just in-game. Yeah. Uh, build mission payload, build mission vehicle, build mission payload, build mission vehicle. How do you do that? Uh, artificial satellite. Okay, we got that. We got that. What else do you need? Plan mission. Select payload. Most missions will include the payload, the satellite or spacecraft you're sending into space. The first stage of the mission plan will be to design and construct the payload. Okay, there we go. We That's the only one we got. The mission payload will be carried by your launch vehicle into space and used in mission tasks that occur after launch. What does that mean? Payload rating is an overall rating based on the payload's modules. More details on the payload's modules and on the mission tasks can be found by clicking the More Info tab below. That one. Payload reliability is key payload stat. Payload reliability determines the chance that payload modules will operate without errors during mission tasks. Pretty good. Higher payload reliability will generate, gen generally make mission tasks easier to complete, but it's sometimes worth sacrificing for better modules or a cheaper build cost. Note that the payload's mass determines the launch vehicle requirement required for the mission. The capacity of the vehicle's upper stage must be large enough to carry the payload's mass. 40 kg. Okay. Each mission payload has available variants, which can be used to further customize the payload for your current mission. Each variant has strengths and weaknesses compared to the standard version of the payload. What is that? Comms. Prototype. Power. Increased build cost, increased power. I don't care. Payload modules are used to generate the resources required to complete tasks and objectives in the mission. The higher the module rating, the more of its associated resources it will generate. For example, a short range comps module with a high rating will generate more comps. Okay, select that payload. Good, got it. Likely they do with vehicles. Your engineers will deliver a construction report on the payload once it's completed. This can include traits that may affect your choice of vehicle design in the next stage. Once you have the necessary funds, you can start construction of the payload. Construction can take several months. How long does it take? How long? It... Two months. Okay. Got it. Okay, we still have research available. Animal in space, there you go. <laughs> and it's a dog on there. <laughs> Launching an animal into space provides crucial testing of life support systems. Human in space, that's what we need to do. Oh, that's okay. We need to we need to get all of this stuff. What does that cost? Upkeep 5. Upkeep 5. Upkeep 5. Build time. Rocket test pad. How long does that take? 3 months. Good. Let's do that. Rocket test pad. Uh, next event. China complete test launch. Ooh. The rocket test pad will allow further and more rigorous vehicle engine tests, resulting in more reliable launches. That's good. It's 
support reward vehicle build time <laughs> whatever next design vehicle let's go mission plans artificial satellite there you go vehicle uh design a new one To launch this mission, you'll need a vehicle capable of carrying the payload to its de destination. The vehicle is made up of a booster and an upper stage. Select upper stage to get started. Uh, we just got one. Here you'll find all the upper stages presently available to your agency. Select one of them to view their stats. That's the only one we need. What's that? An upper stage must be able to carry the payload, which means its payload capacity must be at least equal to the payload's mass. Also, its max destination must be at least equal to the mis mission's destination. Another vital set is the upper stage's mass. This will determine the size of the booster required to carry it. When designing vehicles, you commonly use parts you haven't researched yet. This can be, be the best way to design the perfect vehicle for the mission and won't prevent you selecting the vehicle. However, you'll need to research the required parts before construction can be started. Most missions, a good rule is to select an upper stage with a payload capacity close to the build payload's mass in order to save on build costs and build time. However, there will be some in circumstances when larger parts are better suited. When you're happy with your choice, press select part. 400. 1000. Earth orbit. Moon. Earth orbit. Wow. That's huge. Delta. Wow. Okay, to pass. Select that. Now that you have an upper stage selected, it's time to select a booster to carry. Yeah. Here you find all your currently available boosters. Further boosters and upper stages will be added as you research new areas. Select any booster. The main requirement of a booster is that it is able to carry the upper stage. This means its lift capacity must be at least equal to the mass of the upper stage. Another important booster stat is the required launch pad. This will determine the size of launch pad needed to launch the vehicle. Small launch pad. Booster 400, minimum 400. Got it. Booster upper stages will gain an experience level every time they're used in a launch up to a maximum of 5. Each level gain provides an increase to launch reliability for that part. Different parts gain different amounts of launch reliability per level. Parts that start with low launch reliability but gain a lot of launch reliability per level may be a good investment. If you're willing to risk a few uncertain early launches. Do you more info about a parts level? Hover the cursor over its LV text level. Okay, got it. Select that. You can check whenever your selected upper stage and booster combination is valid for the mission here. If it's not, try different combinations until you find one that works. When you have the valid design that you're happy with, select confirm. Confirm. And built. Your engineers will begin construction immediately. Ooh. Oh, and we need to build that uh, rocket test pad. Yay, build that. That's a plus. That's a plus plus. Let's do a plus plus. Nice. And we need to research something else. Let's research the next mission. Animals in space. Wait, how long does that take? I don't know. No idea. Oh, here. Wait. Anyway. Soviet Union is launching artificial satellite. What? The agency's performance over the last 12 months has been reviewed and your budget has been adjusted accordingly. Current tier. Nice. We did it. Okay, Cons accept and continue. Rocket test pad is complete. The rocket test pad will allow further and more rigorous vehicle engine, engine tests, resulting in more reliable launches. Yeah. Very good. Oh. 
Your first milestone ch challenge, is, challenge is now available. These are optional goals for your agency that involve completing certain milestones in return for substantial rewards. Review the current milestone challenge and select Earth. We access the mission select screen. Artificial satellite, yeah. Mission progress. Oh, there are first and second. Oof. Your current milestone challenge can be found here along with the required objective and the reward on offer. The time remaining for the current challenge can be seen on its tooltip. Activate by moving your cursor over the challenge. Ah, a new milestone challenge will become available whenever you complete or fail the previous challenge. Note that there is no penalty for failing a milestone challenge. Oh, that's good. Wait, what? Oh, here. Reward, 1000k. Wow. Yeah, we're almost there. Mission phases, one phase. Immediately after launch. Okay. Uh, view plan. Hey, good. Got it. Uh, everything is running. Build mission vehicle. That's the next event. Ooh. And it's... Oh, okay. It's not that small anymore. This is like about... What is it? Five, six meters? Uh... Maybe, maybe 10. That's okay. Our engineers manage to optimize the vehicle's attitude control systems, which will improve launch stability. Nice. Okay, now we need a date, right? No, training. Ooh, training is a crucial part of the mission plan and allows your staff and crew to focus on a particular aspect of the mission in the months before the launch date. So can we set the launch date first? That would be interesting. The type of training chosen can be greatly benefit such as a launch reliability or the amount of science gained from a mission. Yeah, this is weird. Why can't we just set the launch date first and then see how much time we have? Available training options for this mission can be selected here. To unlock more training options, construct the appropriate buildings in your base. Thanks. Each training option will focus on a specific aspect of a mission. For example, payload reliability training will increase payload reliability. Makes perfectly sense. The total bonus granted by each training option is dependent on the number of months until the launch date. Oh, so this is training per month. And if you wait five months with the launch, then the training bonus is 15%. Oh, I see. This is how it works. Uh, your current training and its bonuses can be viewed here. The bonus is determined by the number of months between the current date and the selected launch date. Choosing a later launch date can greatly increase your training bonus, yet may give other agencies the chance to complete milestones missions before you. What's that? Okay, let's take June 12th, 15th, make 12th. <clears throat> Select that. And confirm. The mission operations team will begin preparations for launch. Very nice. What is that? Complete the test launch. <laughs> Complete artificial intelligence mission. Uh, artificial satellite mission. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're at 1958. There is no artificial intelligence now. Animal in space research complete. Well, thank you. Launching an animal into space provides crucial testing of life support systems without risking astronauts. They can also be sent in smaller spacecraft and don't necessarily need to be brought back on Earth. Oh my. No. Payload. Okay, let's let's research. It's, we just take a few steps ahead. Next event. Ooh, here we are. Artificial satellite. Mission progress. Oh, we're the best at the moment. Oh, this is good. Optimal date. Launch reliability training. Per month, max bonus, month four. Got it. We're at 81%, which is pretty good. Compared to the 17% we had before. Okay, let's go. Perfect weather.
Ooh, this is perfect. Okay, so weather conditions are perfect and launch reliability is, is damn good. Positive event. The launch vehicle performs beyond expectations. Let's see. Continue. Plus one energy for the duration of mission. Yes, he count in French. Because we're uh, the European Space Agency and I think this is somewhere located in France. Isn't it? I don't know. I have no idea why they do that. Woohoo! Level up! And level up. Oh, I did not see that before. Not anyway. That was good. Artificial satellite. Woo. Achieve Earth orbit. Uh, collect two comms and two data. Complete the objectives to succeed the task. Uh, what is that? During mission tasks, you'll need to issue commands to the payload in order to achieve the task objective. The current task objective is shown here. To successfully complete the task, you'll need to generate the required resources. Resources are generated via payload commands. Each command requires a specific input in order to generate an output of resources. You only have a limited amount of commands per turn, so choose each wisely. This is the planning phase of the turn, so you can freely undo and reselect commands as you wish. Try different combinations to generate the resources you require. When you're happy with your selected commands, select confirm commands to continue. Each command will be attempted by the payload in the order they were selected, with a chance of error based on the payload reliability. Signal return, visual data collection. Four turns remaining. Okay, yeah, confirm. First one is almost perfect. Ooh, nice. Two. Visual data collection. <laughs> almost. Except. A turn is completed each time all of your previously selected commands have been attempted. Make sure you complete the task objective before the turns run out. Recharge power can be selected instead of a normal command to generate power. Power is used as an input for commands or to resist errors that occur when the payload attempts commands. Keeping some spare power is good precaution against unexpected issues. Okay, then put this here in and this here in. Why not? Confirm. Oh, epically failed. Resist. Terrestrial weather patterns have caused a degradation, degradation in the signal. This command's output will be reduced by one unless you spend one to resist the event. Okay, resist it. I don't care. Oh, nice. No, I don't have any. Oh, damn it. Wait, but we got two. Bonus objective. Every mission task will have a bonus objective. Meeting these requirements before your turns run out will be challenging, but doing so will result in a substantial rewards boost. Oh, we need one of... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it. Uh, so let's produce one of these. Oh, okay. Okay, so power doesn't need to be perfect. 
Except that. We got that one. Artificial satellite. We're the first. Continue. With your artificial satellite safely in orbit, you've achieved a major milestone for your agency and opened the door to launching more complex payloads, perhaps even those that could carry humans into space. Humans! With a training option now available for your missions, it's time to focus on another vital aspect of growing your agency, building a mission control. Mission control building unlocks an additional mission slot, allowing you to conduct two missions at the same time. A great way to increase your science and support income. Note that you may need to research another training building first. It's recommended to unlock all the training options eventually. And you know what? With that, we are completing this tutorial. Uh, at least for me. So this is all what I wanted to show you. That we had two successful land launches. This is perfect. We have built uh, two buildings. Uh, we unlocked moon. High moon. And... Yeah, basically what we're now doing is, is just taking one step after the other until we launch humans into space. If you're interested in Mars Horizon, it will hopefully come out this year, 2020. And you can play it right now on Steam as a demo if you're watching this um, the day I uploaded it or a few days after. So take a look at Steam. If not, then wishlist it. It's a great game. Thank you. This is Captain Collins, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.